Yep. So this is where I've been at. Uh, so welcome back to the channel, guys. Random video, random vlog. Not necessarily going to be that long of a video. I just wanted to update y'all with the car, man, because I haven't driven this thing in weeks because it's had, a, well, I ain't going to say weeks. It's been maybe a week and a half. I really didn't even feel like working on it today, but all the injectors just got back and new spark plugs. So pretty much what happened was I went to start the car after I drove it for a whole day, um, the day of Thanksgiving. So that Thursday, I drove the car and it was fine. I swapped it over from pump gas back to E85. So from 93 to E85. Because I had to switch it back to 93 for uh, a road trip to Gatlinburg. They don't have any E85 really out there where we were at. So, yeah. Did that. Came back. I drove it on 93 for about three days when I got back here. And I didn't use that much. I only filled up once, I actually, and burnt out the rest until it was like on E, like low. Put E85 uh, e in there, drove it Thursday, tried to turn it on Friday, nothing. Just chicka, 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 chicka. All that, bro. So, so we're here. Uh, the fuel rail had had a slight leak coming from this little plug right here so if you guys don't know i have a four innovations return style fuel system on there rails id 1050x is dual pump situation all that stuff so um but yeah the rail was leaking from that little plug over there which i saw that when i was trying to crank it and i'm not gonna say that was the issue because i don't know it was a very very small leak but it was enough for it to put like a bunch of crap back there so got new um 1 8 mpt plugs for it and sent the injectors out shout out to eric kerr in clarksville i mean whoa not clarksville bowling green um he does amazing injector work so um i will link i don't even think he has a link you just really have to find him on facebook but yeah um that's how I said Eric Durr. I think I said Kerr. Eric Durr. My bad. I'm so sorry. This is my first time meeting him. But great injector work. All the performance shops that I know around here who do Mustang work pretty much use him for any injector work. So sent, took him up there to him. He tested them, cleaned them, and they were fine. He said they just needed to be clean. So uh, hopefully this will help a lot. So new, clean, fully clean injectors. Fresh plugs, gap to spec, and I'm gonna finish putting the car together. So I got this side pretty much finished. I just gotta put the coil cover back on. Injectors in, rail is in, got the line back going. Now I gotta do this side. I already put the spark plugs in too. Um, so now I gotta put the injectors, rail, elbow, intake, battery, plug everything up and see if this thing starts, man. I hope it does, but that's pretty much where I've been at. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's get back to work, man. Now we got everything back tightened and bolted up. Uh, bolted up. 
<laughs> we have everything tightened up and bolted down. Fuel rails are back in, lines, fittings, plugs, bolts, um, all that good stuff, man. Y'all know what goes into this. So, whew, pray to God this thing starts up, man. It's gonna be a cold start. It's been sitting for a while with E85, so it's gonna be something. start up so I'm gonna let it run let it get up to temps and then I'm gonna get some did you see that that crap I think it needs some Loctite so I'm gonna get some cuz I ain't gonna lie to the, the the website said to put Loctite on those plugs so I'm gonna go pop in the daily Go to the parts store, get some Loctite. Cause I gotta, I mean, I'm leaving hit the house here at four to go to my other job. But yeah, so I'm gonna go get some Loctite for that. I, uh, unplug those, put the Loctite on there, plug it back up, let it dry and all that. Start the car again, see if it makes a difference. If not, that rail is defective. Oh wow, look, look at this. freaking going everywhere so yeah I'm about to cut the car off before this bitch catch on fire got dead before this thing catch on fire so yeah um, I'm gonna make that today's video man so I'm quick and short I'm about to go fix that issue uh, it's the little stuff that gets annoying I've never had any I'm not even gonna speak on that cuz but yeah it's the little stuff it's the little stuff that makes this type of stuff annoying and I haven't raced in months dude so it's like that's what makes it even more frustrating is when you try to be a regular citizen you can't so yeah man uh i appreciate y'all for tuning in i'm just happy we got it back running i know there's nothing wrong with the motor thank thank the lord thank god there's nothing wrong with the motor um and it was just a fueling issue i just had to get the injectors clean and get brand new spark plugs in there so that's the very 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 bright side because these cars these parts are not cheap man it's ridiculous so thank y'all for tuning in man i'm about to go get some loctite unplug those see if that helps i hope it does and i'll see y'all in the next one man y'all take it easy bro let's get it